Hi there, welcome to another math school video. Today we're going to look at drawing dual bar charts. Alright, it's a bit like bar charts, but um, dual means these two of them, effectively. So, two things on the same graph. Alright, so let's have a look. Um, so, dual bar chart, well, purpose really is to compare data between different groups. Alright, so you might want a, a, a bar chart which compares just certain th criteria, but it might be you have different outcomes for different groups. So, most obvious one would be like boys versus girls. Or it might be something where men versus women, or I'm just using sexes here. I'm sure there are loads of other criteria where it's like one versus the other. I mean, maybe it might be a case of adults versus children. I don't know. But it tends to be boys, girls, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, it's drawn like a normal bar chart, but we put side by side for each category. All right, so there must be equal gaps between the categories. All right, so that's important. Don't worry about the gaps between the two um, groups. Um, but certainly between the, the different categories. All right, you'll, you'll see that in a second. Um, and of course, as normal, you need to have a key um, because unlike the previous number of bar charts where you've got something at the bottom, um, each bar, um, because they form different groups, they need to be clearly labelled. All right, again, you'll see that in a second as well. All right, so let's look at some data and let's kind of look at drawing one. Um, so what we've got. So we've got colours. Blue, green, red and pink. Um, and then favourite colours, very typical, isn't it? All right, but effectively, so boys prefer green by looks of it in most cases, and girls prefer pink. Oh, there you go. How typical is that? Anyway, this is not representative of the whole nation, I'm sure. Many girls like all the other colours, but um, we'll, we'll work with it as it is. So, in terms of the chart, so as normal, any, like any bar chart, we're looking for the kind of key parts of a chart. So we need to have key, clearly bits labelled. Frequency will go on the left-hand side and our variable, which will be the colours, along the bottom. Um, and then because we've got two different outcomes, then we're going to have two bars for each of those outcomes. So, so let's put them on. So blue, green, red and pink and colour. And then, of course, frequency up on the left-hand side. All right. And if you've looked at our bar charts video, you'll see very much the same kind of idea. Um, right, so in here, we need to put the information we've got. So we're going to have a bar for, bo uh, for boys, and we're going to have a bar for girls. All right. So... <laughs> what do you reckon that one represents? Well, of course, that not being stereotypical, that one is going to be boys, by the looks of it, because there are seven. All right, so we need a colour for girls. All right, so we'll go for orange for girls, by the looks of that one. So that's got eight high. So you can see those two charts next to each other, a dual bar chart. So both under the category blue, and the two results appear in there. All right, so like any bar chart, Again, because they're separated, because these are discrete data, and again, I've mentioned discrete in other videos, so again, if you're not quite sure what I mean by discrete, please look at other, other videos and what that means. Um, but again, quick, quick summary, discrete means it falls into a category such as blue, green, red, and pink. And again, there's no kind of overlap, effectively. All right, so this is discrete data, so there needs to be a gap between them. All right, so let's put the next ones in. So you've got 10 and 1, 10 and 1, and then leave a gap. And then two and five, which are these two, and then finally six and eleven, which are these two on the bottom. So we have a dual bar chart, all right. But looking at this bar, the chart as you kind of see it, then you would not necessarily know what that color or that color meant, or what the pink and the orange, if that color is pink and orange, what those represent. So, like we've better mentioned over here, a key must be included so the graph makes sense. All right, so let's get this key in. So that colour represents boys, and that colour represents girls. And of course you can choose the colours um, in, in most cases, but it might be giving you a key already. All right. Um, I would have thought in an exam um, they wouldn't ask you to kind of shade it too much because of, obviously, um, the inter interpretation that maybe one shaded, one not. Um, but that's how it looks. All right, so that's drawing bar charts. Same as bar charts, but you've got two. Same process, really. Okay, so as you probably would expect, Let's look at interpreting a dual bar chart and see what kind of questions we might be expected to kind of get an exam. So, when interpreting bar charts, remember to look at the key carefully. Oh, that's a kind of big thing because we're looking at boys and girls a second ago. And then the high bar, uh, heights of the bars are, like always, the frequency. So, here we go. So, the bar chart shows data on people's favourite fruit. Oh, this looks like a bar chart one we had. You might look at bar charts and see what that one's like because I'm sure it's the same, same content. Right, so which fruit did girls prefer? All right, so we've got to try and figure out which one is the girls first. So girls are the pink one in this case. Uh, very typical this time. So pink, this one is, is the, the biggest one, the pink. So I would say it's going to be banana then, because that's got 16. And banana, because it has the highest fat, of course. 
how many people like pairs best so this, this is about how many people so not about how many boys or how many girls how many people so that must be both of these two together so we're gonna have to add them aren't we so let's have a look at these very carefully so that's 12 so that's 14 so 14 there and then this one over here well that's four six what's well, halfway up there so that must be seven so seven and 14 so those two seven and 14 there you go 14 and 7 add them together 21 let's have a look how many more people how many bought how many more boys preferred mangoes to girls how many more boys so these are with the mango columns so we've got 22 boys and we have thir is that 12 13 40 or 13 goes so 22 and 13 the 22 boys like mangoes there we go 13 girls like mangoes and how many more well I'll take the one away so you've got nine more boys prefer mangoes all right so I like many of these kind of questions not difficult not really that difficult to kind of come uh, to get over but you've got to be very careful in terms of this wording very very kind of astute kind of kind of kind of question is that they, they will do this they're trying to mix the words to make sure that you, you whilst your mass needs to be strong is that you're, you're, you're solid with your English understanding. So just be very, very careful with questions. Make sure it makes sense. So, you know, you want to clarify how many more boys preferred among us to girls. We're comparing these two numbers, aren't we? And how many more? Well, when it's more, if that one take away that one. All right, so be very, very careful. Not, not, say, not, not a difficult one. Again, marks you should be kind of picking up exam, but just be extremely careful um, with how the, the question has been worded. Okay, well, that's it for dual bar charts. I hope you found that useful. Um, if you want some more practice on that, then please go to math-school.co.uk. Um, and again, it's free to access. Um, all the videos are on there, and there's lots of kind of quizzes for you to kind of practice, and uh, so, so you know how you kind of getting on. All right. But also, if you like it, like the video, please share and and like below. Thanks very much.